Welcome back to another national PSI real estate exam prep. And today we're going to talk about what makes a deed valid. And more specifically, we're going to go over five questions with their explanations as to why they are the answer. In order for a deed to be valid, the grantor must be legally competent. The grantor's competency, not the grantees, is essential for a deed to be valid. The grantor must be of legal age and have a sound mind. Only the grantor is required to sign the deed, not the grantee. Additionally, recording the deed is not necessary for it to be valid. All of these are required for the deed to be valid except signature of the grantee. A valid deed does not need to be signed by the grantee, but must be executed or signed by the grantor. Essential elements for a valid deed include a legal description of the property and consideration. The title to a property passes when a valid deed is delivered and accepted. Title is not considered transferred until the deed is both delivered to and accepted by the grantee. The grantor can deliver the deed either personally or through a third party. The primary purpose of a deed is to transfer title rights. Title refers to the right of ownership of land. While a deed is a document through which the owner transfers the title to real property. If a lease permits assignment, a deed is not used for the transfer. Recording the deed gives constructive notice of the property transfer. However, a deed does not prevent adverse possession, which occurs when someone gains ownership through open, continuous, exclusive, actual, and notorious possession of another's property without the owner's consent. When a grantor signs a deed, the basic purpose of acknowledgement before a notary is to show the grantor's signature was given without duress. An acknowledgement is a formal declaration that the person signing a written document does so willingly and that the signature is authentic. However, the acknowledgement does not guarantee the validity of the title, the identity of the grantee, or the absence of encumbrances. All right, this was five questions to help you pass your national PSI real estate exam. If this was helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe because we drop a new video every week to help you pass your national PSI real estate exam.